What's up, guys? Welcome back to another classic HSTFM. I'm your co-host Adi, alongside Jay. What's up, guys? As always, HSTFM is brought to you by Pursue Hard Seltzers, the best hard seltzers in the game, and. One thing that you should know about HST is it started as a way for us to feel like a friend group mm. for you guys. And so today, the topic that we have, Ariana, is is we have three actually. It's okay. all about friendships. So the first one is what's the worst thing you've done to a friend. The next is what's the best thing you've done for a friend. And the third is the best or worst thing a friend has done to you. We got some juicy ones, ah. Huh? Let's go. Okay, guys. So starting off with. Uh, What's the worst thing you've done to a friend? So this might this one you guys might relate to. It's a uh, broke. I mean, I don't think y'all will relate to it. I think y'all will understand how bad it is. It's broke the bro code to impress a girl. You got this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think what it means yeah. is you are constantly putting your friends down in front of other people. Yeah. Whether it's girls, guys, whatever. Like you think it's funny. You think it makes you look like a jokester, like a like a prankster, or whatever. And like you target. You know they're insecure about certain things, and you constantly bring that up in public. I think that's what it means. Like you break the bro code when you talk about. If I confide in you about something that I'm insecure about, huh. and then we're in front of like you know a group of girls, or we're just chilling in public or whatever, and you're like, "Hey, dude, how's that?" Fucking uh, that haircut looks shit on you, and I uh, just told you, like, dude, like I think this haircut looks shit on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're putting you your friend that, down, man. That sucks. Like it sucks. Yeah, that sucks. No matter who you are, like, no matter if you're a girl, guy, whatever. That's just a horrible friend. But I'm saying yeah. the bro code seems more, uh, like there's more specific things. Like you know, you can't date a girl that your bro has dated. You can't. So I don't know what this guy's referring to when he says you. Broke the bro code to impress a girl. Yeah, like no, I think there's multiple things that the bro code entails. Yeah, and one of those things is you are not supposed to put down the bros in front of other people that you don't know. Sure. If you're in a mm. group setting, you're like, dude, you look like a fucking rat with that haircut. Mm. That's cool. That's funny. I would laugh at that. Mm. But if you said that in front of like, you know, like a random group of strangers or a random group of mm. girls just to say something, that would be fucked up. Sure. You know what I mean? I see that. That's that's it. Like. If you told me that you were personally insecure about something, mm -hmm. I brought it up constantly as a way to make other people laugh. Sure, I'd be like, "Fuck that!" I'll, dude. I'll just say one thing here: the, the whole idea of a bro code is essentially like, say, you and I are the bros, and he's your wingman. Yeah, as you wing. Yeah. Now, if he's your wingman, he will take all the hits just so that you can score. Sure. So, a part of the bro code is to take all the hits. Sure. Oh, so that you can. Wait, wait. However, however, take all the hits is like. Yo, dude, we went trekking and like I saved this dude's life, man. His knee was <laughs> fucked up. I carried him down the mountain. His job is to be like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, happened. Yeah. that happened. Not, yeah. not hits like, like hits. hey, yeah. bro, you look like shit and you, uh, you smell and you disgust me. That's not cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a difference between taking the yes. hits for a wingman and just beating someone up. Yeah, there's, you know, what I, you know what I mean. Fine, sure. Yeah, there's a fine line. There's a, so, there's a line. Well, along the same thing of a bro code. Um, this girl snitched about her boyfriend to her mom because she was doing really rubbish in academics. Oh, so like I'll snitch about Jahangir's like boyfriend, relationship. yeah, relationship to his mom because he's like not doing well in school. Wait, 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 wait. hold up, hold up, yeah, hold so up, hold confused. up. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Another friend, yeah, completely separate of the couple, yeah, went and told. The, the girl's mother. Yeah. That, oh, oh, the reason she's not doing well in school yes. is because she's dating this dude. Yeah. Damn. Oh. That's kind of crazy, bro. Does she okay, want to get with this dude? Huh? Uh, Low key. I don't know. See, this is the fine line where, like, it's mm. like, are you being a good friend? Yeah. Or are you just a snitch? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, it it depends on how academically successful she was, <laughs> and then to take such a big hit, uh, and her mom may be like really pissed with her. Yeah. She's like, yo, it isn't really her fault. She started dating someone. He's really fucking giving it to her. You know. Yeah. Like, but this, but clearly, this girl put it in the worst thing she's done category, not the best thing she's done. Well, I mean, she. So yeah, I don't think that was the case. I think you can't snitch about oh. your like friends. Relationship of the parents probably don't want to like sure don't sure, want her sure. To have one yeah it's a, it's a rat but move, you know but like you, you I'm sure y'all have seen friends of yours that have dated someone who's like completely wrong toxic <gasps> just making yeah. them a bad person yeah yeah and you're like I don't know who will get through to you other than apart your, from yeah. your parents yeah. so it's yeah. it's a fine line like I don't know how fine toxic line. the 
relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. was. And maybe who knows how uh, friendly the mother is with the friends. If she's one of those moms who kind of yeah. talks about stuff openly and shit, maybe then, yeah, okay, cool. I just feel like it's not anyone's place to do that. It's not. It's not. I, that's why so, she put it in the worst, worst thing, thing that she's done. I agree. But what would you do if, if someone did that to you and your mom d- had no idea that you were in a relationship? So uh, let, let's, change the, let's change the example a bit. It can be like, if I'm like hooked on a drug, for example, yeah. and you are like concerned about me, yeah. you've tried talking to me and you're like, yeah, this guy's not listening to me. You might go to my mom yeah. and hmm. be like, yo, get this guy's shit in order. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I would hate you for that. But you would but thank me later. Eventually I, I would understand. Yeah. yeah. So I want to know, did your friend eventually understand? Or if she's still dating yeah. this guy, then you were a shitty friend. And, and bro, I think what, what makes a, a friend a really good friend is looking out for your best interests long term, especially if you are doing something wrong. Yeah. Like if she's cutting class, if she's not studying, if she's only hanging out with her boyfriend, if she's ignoring her responsibilities, maybe she'll thank her friend in, in a couple months, man. Like, yeah. hey, dude, I got through boards. Now I can date this dude stress-free. Thank you. Yeah, you gotta be a good friend to be able Stop. to like take, the take hit. a hit for like a year, maybe. Ooh, that's it's oh, hard, bro. Time, bro. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. The redemption's probably gonna be sweet, though. You know. Go ahead, next one. Dated her ex after five months of them breaking up. That probably. is breaking the bro code. Yeah, that is breaking the bro. Code. Yeah, that's you not because you probably want to do that the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Five months is not that long, bro. Five months and is not long. That's, is, that's is is there crazy. a period? No, there's no period. There's I no period? think there is. I Three years. Think. Three years. Three years? If it's like not that good of a friend. Yeah, bro. We know people who've done that. Yeah, but this is... um, she's He's saying the worst thing I've done to a friend. So I'm assuming it's like a high level friend. Right? High no, level friend. I don't know. Groups where they date each other only. Like, <laughs> Rihanna, what group. groups are you a part of? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I just know. They just... Um, inse- like it's very incestuous, you know? I yeah. guess everyone is... Yeah, I really guess know. everyone is different. But I feel like... Uh, those are like group settings. I feel like if you're in, I feel like if you are two bros out in the wild, chilling. These are two girls. So let's like, even the girls do this. Girls? Yeah. Okay. Like, let's say they're just two girls, two BFFs, right? And this girl's obviously dated this dude for a certain amount of time. And she feels a certain way about him. You're obviously n- either not a really good friend in the first place, or you've wanted to do this the entire time. You're just waiting for the right moment. Oof. Which is yeah. both are That's pretty. Worse. Both are pretty grim, dude. I don't know. Like five months is not that long. You know, you know. The, there's this show. I'm pairing which one, but there's this concept of the Eskimo brother. Yeah. 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 Uh, Blue like, Mountain State, I think. Oh what? Oh no. Go ahead. Anyway, but anyways, it's like basically <laughs> if you and Adi are Eskimo brothers, if you both have been with the same girl. Yeah. yeah. Been with the same girl is different from. Dated, dated the same girl. Yeah, what well, I meant is just like a one night stand or something. But yeah. <laughs> that's still a, well, if, this if, isn't if, that. if that was a one night stand situation, that's fine, I think. Then why are you waiting five months? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? It's not fine. It, it is, it is. It's way it more is. fine. You it's way, it's, it's way more fine than than if you had it's dated. Ask him more bro code. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ask him bro code. Different chapters, same book. <laughs> okay, stop. Get, get along with it. <laughs> just to an to, him, you know, to the yeah. Just to clarify. If yeah. Adi, in this hypothetical question, is dating someone, mm. and then five months after, her. not dating. Oh, you're not dating her. Yeah, I met her weekend. We had a good time, you know. And then <laughs> <laughs> Jay came in to scoop the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've like never the done this. The Max system. The Max system. This no, is. And then uh, uh, Sid's <laughs> death <laughs> scraps. <laughs> This is gross. Hey, what's going on, baby? Oh, they did you wrong. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, the sunny yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's crazy, man. Obviously okay. kidding. But, but. Obviously kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Right. I hate guys, huh? Okay. <laughs> I love- Whenever I talk to Ariana about girl problems, I, I finish and I'm like, she's going to say something wise and helpful and smart. Maybe I'll take her advice. And she's like, I hate men. Yeah. I, hate, I hate you guys. Like, I'm so scared to be out in this world attracted to guys. Like after hanging out with you guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, so in this first situation that I just spoke about, they had dated. But now what if, like in this girl situation, she dated a guy that her best friend had a massive crush on. Mm. He, she didn't initiate it, but he initiated it and she didn't stop it. Ooh. Now we won't say names. We have a friend who's done this. What? Who? Really? Yeah. But- <laughs> Yo, it's a best friend we share. And we share? Yeah. Okay, fuck it. This is out of context. 
Oh, yo, yeah. shout out. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, that's kind of murky territory, bro. Because yeah. Uh, yeah, that's actually a huge gray area. Because it is, sorry, I don't think it's gray. It's clear that right? you you know your friend likes someone. Yeah, you don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying for myself. <laughs> Saying in general, it can be a gray area. It's like, what if both the friends like the guy? Is what I think is is happening. Oh, call dibs. Yeah. Oh, that's just because you have a bigger crush, where I can't date this person. Yeah, you it's know? really. That's why I said it's a murky area because yeah. it's one of those things. Are they still friends? Do you know? No. Oh, I would really love follow ups. But in yeah. general, <laughs> I think that if both of y'all have this have a same crush, change the crush, bro. Don't yeah. don't just yeah. leave that guy. Yeah. yeah. Relationships really. are super temporary. The the homies are forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm. just kind of pick and choose who you want. Like are you are you going to risk a 7 year friendship for a like 5 year fling? Oh wait, wait. 5 month fling. Hold up. Bro, on bad. the other hand, if you're looking for a way to get out of that friendship anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, who 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 do you like these days? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Oof. I can't imagine if you and your friend had a crush on someone and they came like the crush came up to you mm. and was like, "Hey, I'm into you, but not your friend." Eeks. I think the right thing to do would just be to, to say walk no. away from that situation. Yeah, yeah, because it really does depend on the duration and the value that you give to the friendship. You know. Yeah, I agree. Okay, next one. Um, someone says, "For two months now, I have been constantly avoiding being there when they're being available twenty four seven." Oh, sorry. Say that again. Yeah, say that again. For two months now, I have been constantly avoiding being there for them when they've been available twenty four seven. Oh, yeah. Why are you avoiding being available? Is your friend annoying as shit? Yeah, maybe. And they've been there twenty four seven. The friend. The friend has been there. Oh, that's crazy. Also, it's probably like, hey, like always asking you to hang out, and you're always yeah. saying no. Well, you're always saying no. Why? Because you have stuff. To no, because you. Yeah, I don't or know. Or you don't want to hang out with them. Probably both. I think the worst thing you've done is not communicated that you yeah. don't really like them. Yeah, I feel like you don't really like this person. How do you say that, but you don't say it, but you're like Get you don't date their crush. <laughs> you, know? you don't you don't use their support as much. You she you shouldn't use the twenty four seven support. Mm. So then like, the other person should get a hint. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 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 Well, there's 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 certain like you know how they say there's love language. There's also like friendship language. I feel like if two people aren't compatible in the same way, then maybe it's just. You know, maybe you don't give that person uh, yeah. enough importance. You know, mm. they don't have the same like core friendship values. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Before we move on to the next question, do you guys have any uh, stories of the worst thing you have done to a friend? Yeah, I have some. Go ahead. Okay, go. Oh, but are we all sharing? I don't want to be alone. Yeah, yeah start. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine is actually a little sad, and I do regret it. But now we have moved on from it, so it's fine for me to share. But basically, once I had the best time at this concert where I met who I thought at the time was like the guy for me, hmm. and our eyes connected. It was a big movie moment, okay? Me and this guy. Sure. And I was with my friend, and then he came up to me later on, and he was like, "Hey, can I talk to you?" So I was like, "Yeah, okay, cool." Then I went like at the back of the crowd with him, and then my friend was with this other group of friends who she didn't really know that well, hmm. but then. Even though, like, so after I was done talking to this guy, I was like, "Here, let me go find my friends." So I went and tried to find her, but I couldn't. Oh. And then, so she had to hang out with this group of friends. How hard did know. you try? Like, uh, I tried. Yeah. I tried. How hard? Like on a scale a five of one on ten. Five on ten. So you I didn't really try. Okay. But I tried. I tried. She did. <laughs> you went to the nope, gym. Nope, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then she had to hang out with this group of friends who she's not that close to. At a festival. Her this is a music festival. Yeah, okay. for the whole concert, for the rest of the night. Damn. And you know, there's no like I couldn't call her because there's no network. Yeah, of course. Of which course. I tried, which I tried to call her. Yeah, I'm sure you did, Ariana. <laughs> and is it the so worst that's thing you've done? Like, no, no. Yeah, so and I then, left wait, wait. The story doesn't end there. You tried looking for her, and then you were like, "Can't, I find, can't her. find her. I'll go back to the guy." Yeah. Okay, that that's where the story gets juicy. Well, why like, would she get lost herself? Yeah, I mean, why, 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 why would like, she get I lost herself? You know? I'm a girl alone in the world. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like Sid said, sometimes if you have a wingman, that's just the the responsibility. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's yeah, cool. yeah. Your girl it took is. it on the chin, like she's like, yeah, exactly. Did she, well, was she a pissed about it? Yeah, yeah. She was very pissed, and we had a whole thing, and we had to sort that's her out. That's annoying. Your friend's think- a little annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a little annoying, man. I, I don't know. No, you but can't it was be like pissed about thing. this for more than two days. I think. Uh, the second day, you drop it. Can I ask you a question? 
Yeah. Uh, if that happened to her, knowing her as such a good friend of yours, would she have done the same thing? I'll tell you what. I don't know if she would have done the same thing, but if it would have happened to me, I would have just let it go. Oh well, obviously. Like, yeah, you, you know, have yeah, to fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? This is not about the friend. This is about me being a bad friend and doing okay. this. Yeah. So okay. this is the worst thing I've done. Well, at least you feel friend. bad about it. I, I don't think that's the worst. I thing. did feel really bad about it, but the thing is also, you know what I hate. And what another thing is that worst friends do. Wait, I mean, uh, before we move on from that concert, sorry, I think your friend afforded you one of your fa- your best experiences. Like this is probably one of the best things she has done for you. For me, yeah, yeah. I've heard this story like at least nine times. So yeah. it, it, it's a good memory of yours, you know. It is an amazing memory, but the thing is that she didn't do it out of like the goodwill of her heart or something. Wow. But that's what I'm saying. Her reaction now can change that. Yeah, if she's just like yo. You know what? That yeah, was like, that's yeah. My gift she could do you, that. You know? She could yeah. do that. Don't Although, let her taint the memory. Agree. At the time, it was a little tainted by this whole incident happening. So anyway. that's a that's a bad friend, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get get over it, dude. Okay, I, now you I share. hate motherfuckers. Like sometimes when you just apologize. It's like just fucking take the apology, bro. What are you gonna be mad at each other for like a week and waste a week and then uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, What's yeah, the worst? I think so you have I, I have a story. Yeah, okay. so it's not that I did to my friend, but me and my friend sort of together did it to a third person. Oof. Oh, we have that. Okay. We have that. <laughs> we have that. Okay, so we have so many of those. Yeah. Bro. I won't obviously I won't take any names, but basically, uh, I'll just say A B just so that it's clear. So a friend of mine, he, uh, we have a third friend. Sorry, so he wanted to set this guy up with someone, and he's like, uh, dude, you know, there's this girl I know. I think she's like really cool and she's nice, and maybe you should hang out with her. And he was like, yeah, okay, sure, like I'll do that. And he's like, yo, you know, this is how she looks. And he showed her a few pictures, and he was like, oh, she, and he showed, and she was oh, a very no. good-looking girl or whatever. So he was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, no. And then he kept building her up over time and oh. everything. And then one day he was like, "Okay, uh, listen, this girl, she wants to meet you, and she wants to learn how to play snooker. Okay. <laughs> Because they both used to play snooker okay. and they're good at it. Okay. So he's like, 'Why don't you do one thing? Why don't you like take her to NSCI, have a good like, you know, play uh, snooker, little, little, you know, behind the back <laughs> you know, snooker session. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's it's a, it's, a, it's a good activity yeah, yeah, to do yeah, with yeah, a girl. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, you know, uh, let's do it. So he's like, okay, I spoke to the girl. She's in.'" Okay, this guy reaches like he's just half an hour in advance. You know, oh, he's no. all like <laughs> oh, well no. dressed. His cue stick is all like <laughs> sorry. I bet it no, is. No, I bet it is. Yeah, it's polished up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, he's standing there already. Turns out, like he was, my friend was showing him the wrong, was saying X girl's <gasps> name, but showing him the Y girl's pictures. Oh and eventually, the X, the the Y girl came up. Sorry, Show the X up. girl came up, who was not that good looking. Sorry, but. Whatever. Yeah. He was not his type, and not at all his type, not at all. And this guy is just standing yeah. there, just keeps stick, wondering what the fuck. And you see, he has to spend one hour teaching her snooker and doing the whole thing oh. because because he can't tell like go. Yeah, I only booked a room and for one hour. Uh, you, you said you were part of this. That means you knew what he was doing. I knew what he was doing. I didn't tell him. <gasps> my other oh, my other friend was shit. doing the whole thing. I knew about it. Say. What does it What does it say? Bystanders are just as bad. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Good Samaritan law. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. Good really. Samaritan law. Oh shit, Sid! If you so, did that yeah. to I mean, me, we laugh about it now. But yeah, at the time. I'm sure you <laughs> laughed about it then also. <laughs> you wanna? Go I don't know if we can. It, it, I don't know if we can say the one we're both thinking about, hmm. but because uh, it involves a fair share of vandalism. But uh, <laughs> there is one where um, we were at a New Year's party. And one of our friends was really, really drunk, hmm. and we were carrying him down the stairs, and we may have dropped him, <laughs> and he may or may not have rolled down the stairs, <laughs> and he had no memory of it. We just dumped him at his house, and the next day he woke up and he had like a really bad like neck, or he's like, what happened? And I'm like, I have no idea. Like that's what being, and we were super young, so I was like, that's just what alcohol does to you sometimes, you know, like. <laughs> And it was bad. Like we had him on the top of the staircase. I think we got distracted and were laughing or something. And someone let his leg go, oh and God. he just like fell down the stairs. So I it was your fault to drop him. Oh uh, yes, like, one. It it was definitely okay. our then, fault then to drop him. Thing to do, Dude, right? back in the day, Jay and I, when like we used to drink with people, I don't know, like we were able to hold our liquor a little bit. And people won, and it was damn annoying to yeah, take yeah. care yeah. of. Yeah. yeah, they're like puking on themselves. They're, oh, yeah. That's the, same. Wait, yes. I don't know if it's that same New Year's party, but another New Year party. Another friend, I don't know if it was the same friend, got drunk, and then they were and they were drunk like before twelve a.m. So I was like, "Yo, this is I'm not taking care of you right now." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we have a picture of them at eleven thirty 
at the uh, at in the bathroom over the, yeah. over the over the pot, and they just passed out there, and he just has a piece of pizza thrown on him, and he's <laughs> left <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, there was another time where where we made our fr- we were all drinking and then we were like, okay, last drink we have a little bit of every type of alcohol. So you drink this whole thing, hmm. and he got super rowdy, broke his hand, and it was a surprise party for me. It was also a non like my parents didn't know what was going on. Oh. So when they came into the room, he was in my bathroom and his head was sticking out of the bathroom. <laughs> So we opened the door and I just kicked his head <laughs> into like, the box. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Man, I wish I wish we had pursuers back then because you would have drank way more responsibly. And uh, we would have woken up with minimal to no hangover. Pursue what you love. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is, it is what it is. Your pursuits would have changed our youth. Bro, honestly. Uh, not that you should drink on, when you're yeah, on yeah, yeah, wait, 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 no, no. <laughs> But uh, no, I was I was actually out the other night and I was having beers because I didn't want to drink too much. I had maybe like three beers. And I was like, fuck, I would love a pursuit right now yeah. because it, would, it it takes away that like, the like full feeling. Bloatiness, bro, the having, guilt, yeah, everything. Bro, I feel like I can run after having a pursuit. And it fucking tastes good. Like It uh, tastes too good. It's okay. great. It's yeah. great. Okay. No, That's this so genuinely, you can run after having pursuits. You can run home. Well, you can <laughs> run after having anything. Not bears. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's go. Well, just some honorable mentions of the worst friend thing. Um, <laughs> someone said that they rejected their friend's Raya refer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what that is, dude. Raya. Raya is an app. That oh, who app. you keep? Who's that dude who you say keeps popping up for you? Oh, Aditya Roy Kapoor. Yeah. Oh, Raya. oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> you should get on it. Oh, you should. Get I on. should get on it. He keeps. He, he keeps coming up. Like his profile what, keeps coming up. That's the rumor around town. But he's also Raya dating someone. And, like another dating app. It's your. It's invite only, and it's meant for uh, famous, successful people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, so. Which Ariana has become after HST. <laughs> wait, 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 You're welcome. Wait, wait, wait. This is your invite to Raya. So she rejected the person from even getting onto the app. Yeah. So, yeah. so to get on oh, the app, the <laughs> to get on the app, you need a you need someone on the app to refer you. Okay, okay. So sh- someone must have asked her, and she said no. Wait, do you yeah. see the person who referred you on the profile? Maybe. So then I would, I mean, I would uh, <laughs> avoid some people. You know? <laughs> oh, is it, that? Oh, no. Oh, I don't okay. Think so. I don't. Because it's your, it's your do, stamp. Like, if, yeah, no, it's your stamp. No, 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 no. I don't. I actually have no ideas. So okay, but know. if anyone on Raya wants to refer me, please like slide into my DMs. I'm fully open. I know some Raya, Raya people will will get you. <laughs> you get on. Okay. On Raya. Um. Okay. And another one was almost made my friend lose his club membership by being a menace at a party. We've all been there. Yeah, we've all been there. It's That's fine, a buddy. really bad thing. It's fine, buddy. It's you, he'll sleep it off. It's it's okay. okay. How rowdy Who's were you? Club though? membership is how, a big thing. No, no, right? but how ra- how rowdy were they? Like, were they in the bar? Like, like you know, you know, for a few, a few months shit? ago, that dude from CCI Club, he fell down from the second floor yeah. on the ground floor. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. So if you're that rowdy, then yeah, that's a yeah. bad thing. No, dude. that's kind of fucked up, man. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a little disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, I mean it is, but it like is. we've all been a little rowdy on a night out. Like it's fine. Yeah. He didn't yeah. lose his membership. It, it is what it is. Move on. It's fine. It's yeah, a good but story. what if he had? It's a good story. What if and all? Don't live in what he if. He said land. almost. No. <laughs> <laughs> didn't he say almost? Yeah, he said. Yeah, almost. Yeah, almost. almost. Ah, that's almost. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Next yeah, it question. It will be a good story in the end. Next question. What is the best thing you've ever done for your friend? Mm. So everyone just humble bragging here sure. on our questions, which I'm loving. Someone said, which I think is the best thing you can do for a friend, became Cupid for them, even though I had feelings for him. Oh, oh Heartbreaking oh, Loki, huh? Come on. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's sweet, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Why are you being so, you, why you you so brag dismissive? about it? That's like, see what I did for They're not friend. bragging. Okay, the, the, this question okay, okay. is such, dude. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, cute. I think, yeah, good for you, man. True love. I feel yeah. like that's have, don't don't uh, get don't be resentful though. Uh, I would though never do it. Yeah. Don't be resentful in the end. You know what I'm saying? Like you, it can get bitter fast. Oh, for you sure. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. So they end you, up together, get married. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, Jay, like, you play uh, Cupid for Adi, right? <laughs> you know what? There's some resentment there. You know what? I did. <laughs> yeah. I actually did. That's true. That may be the best thing I've done for a friend. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah. May crazy. need to be a better friend. But, but <laughs> hey, I'm returning the favors yeah, now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah okay next one giving that <laughs> this one's quite funny giving them the opportunity to make out with me knowing that they would enjoy it 
Shut the fuck up, dude. Uh, hey, maybe if they would enjoy it, the, it is what it is. Maybe if they were like, yo, you've never kissed the girl. Maybe you suck at kissing. Maybe like we can figure this like, out. Like a where the middle situation. You know, Boding was gave an opportunity to make out with me. Come on. <laughs> like that's maybe he I was, see- you know what? I, I miss Aman right now. This is his term. Maybe he's like a Hall of Fame virgin, bro. <laughs> and he's like never <laughs> been, never kissed anyone and I'm never saying. done anything. Mm. And you know, he, he, that's being a good friend, bro. Okay, yeah. If you're like, it? you know, work out your kinks with me so, like, the person you do end up with doesn't have to be. Exactly. Yeah. This is classic rom com, bro. It's like, you know. And then I'm they saying? fall in love. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, 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 I, yeah, I think it's just that, like, my friend has, like, a baby crush on me and I know it. So I'm like, hey, I know you're dying to hook up with me. So, like, let's kiss. And then you go on your way. Like, oh, this okay. is my present oh. to you. See, different minds work different. Yeah. Different minds. You, the subconscious already brings out. <laughs> <what you mean>. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. I mean, good good for him or her or whoever it was. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Good for them. Okay. okay. Um, someone bought their friend therapy. That's weird. <laughs> no, dude. That's no. no man. Bought that's your friend therapy. If they like express it. Them no, no, no. If they expressed <laughs> interest in it. And therapy is expensive, and they were like, mm. "Like you booked them a session." I can't afford this, and then your friends like, "You know what? I got you. First time on me." I would, I would say like, I don't know, maybe take them to the gym or on a run or something before therapy. You know, that's kind of a, it's kind of a broad move to do. <laughs> yeah, but you, we don't know if they'd already tried everything, and they were well, like, "I wish I could try therapy. It's still expensive." Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, but you're gonna what? In one session of therapy, you're gonna get all your problems out, and she'll be like, "Okay, time's up." No, it's just yeah. a step. It's just a step, bro. Yeah, I'm I think just, you're being you're being too flippant about yeah, it. I, I, yeah. I, I, maybe I am. Maybe. Yeah. But I'm thinking, like, how do you tell someone, like, "Hey, happy birthday"? <laughs> you I need therapy. Therapy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Work it out, buddy. <laughs> Work it out. I would like that as a gift if anyone gave me therapy. Fire. You know bro. what? Everyone can benefit from therapy. Yeah. It's not only if you're like. Going but it does something. mean that. A professional therapist, not yeah, just yeah. like my take for you, no, right? No, no, or maybe, no. maybe yeah, it's like it should a be that. like therapy sesh with Doctor J. Like you know, you can you can tell me about your problems for an hour. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll pay to not go for that. <laughs> <laughs> then this next one is really sweet. I've read and annotated her favorite book, leaving cute and personal messages throughout. Okay, that's sweet. I'm assuming this is a a, a girl. Yeah. Okay, that's sweet. That's, that's nice. dope. That's yeah. cool. Amazing. That's cool. What's yeah. her favorite book? Like, is it a like a long book? I don't. I'm sure it is. Damn, you're a good friend. Good friend. Yeah, yeah that's nice. must be readers. Must yeah. be. as a lot of our audiences. Yeah. Of course, of course, <laughs> they read the like yeah. captions of our Insta reels. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's cool, dude. I yeah, yeah that's that's nice. <laughs> then someone said, "Very sweet," and this is my dream. My friend and I write each other letters every month. Well, mine's with like a lover or something. Yeah, <laughs> with that, it's way more normal. Yeah. Uh, letters, like, um, are they no, long like distance that. or something maybe? Then writing letters to kind of preserve. Why do you like it, Sid? It's, it's a friend writing a, writing a letter to another friend. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, that's nice. I like think it's nice to have something written yeah. and mm. keep that. Sure. That's what they did before. The like, I did that, SMS I did that to my thing. friends when they got married. Like, whichever my friends got married, oh, I, sent, wow. I wrote them a nice something and yeah. they kept really? it. So I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, man. Oh, that's, that's, a, dope, that's a classy actually. move right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a classy yeah, move. Yeah, I, might, shit uh, I might pick that up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be my Not guest. to brag, but I write poems, birthday poems. Mm. That's true. I yeah. have her yeah. birthday poem. I wrote both of yeah. you. Sorry, yeah. said I didn't write you one, but I'll write Ooh. you one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go, dude. And his birthday was after both of us, you know. That's like, like, I wonder what the worst thing a friend has done to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's yeah. wild. Okay, that's wild. Hey, what's next? The next one is ranted about their achievements in a room full of opportunity. So you know when you like build oh, your friends up. Okay, that's the that's, best thing you can do for a friend. Shit, dude. Yeah, nice. best thing you can. See, that's the opposite of what we spoke about at the top of the show. Yeah, bro. you know what I'm saying? It's, yes. It, you so you mm-hmm. see how the inverse can be taken in a bad mm-hmm. way. Yeah. A room yeah. full of opportunities. If you're like, damn, bro, like, great be friend, you man. change Whoever your this way. person you know is, like, like yeah. big up. Yeah, man. that's what I think. That's what friends are for as well. Like, because you kind of want to see each other be as successful as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one is surprise my long distance bestie by visiting them on their birthday. Sweet. That's nice. Yeah. Like, everyone like everyone likes a surprise visit. You know? Okay. Yeah. I have a controversial opinion here. Okay. I don't like surprise visits. What? Oh, I had a, I had a, I'll tell you a story. Now that I think about it, I would hate it. I had a, (laughs) 
I was in London when I was studying there. I had a friend who who, who surprise visited me like two three times. I'm like, dude, <laughs> like I have my whole weekend planned. I have yeah, stuff to do. Yeah, I have everything yeah. thing. I don't want to open the door and see you standing over there. Now my whole plans have to revolve around you. <laughs> you can just bring them along, right? You can kind of bring them along. No, I mean, yeah, no, you can't. Well, this particular person. The group dynamic. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't want to impose you on my other friends. And I don't want to mix groups. Are you I don't embarrassed wanna... of your friends? I'm not embarrassed, but I. No, I feel you. Would I'm not fucking. be the would not be what I want to be with other people. If my so I'll around. tell you, I would feel the exact same way. Like maybe three, four years ago. Now I feel like all the friends that I have mm. will connect with each other because I've curated them this way like where mm. they are all similar sure. in some sense sure. so if someone was coming I would let them intrude on everything sure. I have planned exactly that's, that's what I would say as well it's like now you get to a point where you're like maybe because you were in college right? this was like a while ago mm. so it must have been you were probably younger you probably didn't you know want to tell mm. this friend that you hated him and now he's out of your life and, <laughs> that's actually you know, true oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so life, that, it, 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 is it tells well. you a lot like yeah. when they come and you have that emotion you're yeah, like yeah, this is yeah, not yeah. gonna last there's always a friend you have to apologize for like hey guys this <laughs> this fucking yeah. guy huh? he's, yeah. he's a bit much <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. okay anyways then the other one is made out with his girlfriend just to make him realize how shitty of a person she was <laughs> <laughs> that's the best I thing to do no that is so like made out with her with his best his, friend his girlfriend, his girlfriend <laughs> just to show him what a shitty girlfriend that's she was. a long term investment <laughs> that's <laughs> like you know you, you'd be like damn maybe he was right bro i don't know uh, <laughs> no, no no that's fucked up that's fucked up uh shit that sucks maybe you could just express your emotion to him you know or, or tell yeah. his mother yeah who knows <laughs> either way we've learned a lot of different ways to snitch on our friends what's the best thing uh, you've ever done for a friend guys me oh my god so many thoughts come to me <laughs> <laughs> see one uh <laughs> shit i can't think of anything man that damn what you train your friends gymming that's a nice thing but that's thing. fun for me as well yeah. i do that for myself as more than them I'll see. <laughs> so you say go gym with him. Uh, shit. Wow. Nothing. I mean, do you have no, any? No, I'm sure. I, I'm sure I have. I just don't take notes of it. You know. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I just live that. Yeah, way, it's it's yeah, weird. Yeah, you know, it's weird to kind it's of. It's weird to say it. Yeah, it is. It's weird to say it. It is weird to say. It. Okay, why don't you say the best thing that Adi's done for you? Oh, um, we we used to uh, <laughs> grow up with this song. It's called Trophies. And on my birthday, he got me a trophy for that reason. I thought it was sick. It's still in my room. Oh, it's, it's a Drake banging. song, and the hook it's line big. is like, uh, "You deserve trophies for taking care of your people." So, like, I got yeah, him a yeah, big yeah. trophy, and then it's like the in quotes, "It's oh. like for yeah. taking care of your people." Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still in my room as well. Yeah, that's a, it's a sick one. I'll nice. say that. That was a good one. Yeah, and that was the same surprise party where we kicked that guy's head. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Great, 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 for taking great, care great, of people. Great <laughs> <laughs> you best took care of him. <laughs> took care of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. And uh, Adi, best thing Jay has done for me. Um, <laughs> it's okay if you can't just pick one, but oh, uh, I don't think of a like a moment like that. I think of a lot of like us. I tend to take my shit very seriously hmm. and Jay's always been the person to bring levity to my life which hmm. is for me the most important quality in a friend. You have to be able to like you know like shit's not that serious. Yeah. It's the reason why I think this show works also so well. I agree. It's uh Jay's levity is one of his best qualities. And now I know what levity means. So great. <laughs> keep doing Do you know what levity means? Yeah, it's like, you know, chilling the fuck out, you know. No, 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 it's like bringing humor uh, to a morose or oh, deep okay. situation. Well, I wouldn't say the podcast is that, but <laughs> no, I get no, it. No, no, no. I get it, I get it. I, it's I like think if I, I'm super intense here, yeah, I need yeah. someone to balance yeah, that yeah. out. I, I think uh, what what we, what, I would say what we do well for each other <laughs> is allow each other to have uh, really, really like conversations that are just in your mind and you can just say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like sometimes like if we're having a sesh or whatever, like yesterday was a great example of that. We, I think both of us were like, had maybe some of the longest days of the week and we just came in and we were like, okay, this, this is going to be shit. 
let's pump it up a notch and then it turned out to be like one of our best workouts in I think for half memory. an hour in the great. starting we were just sitting on the gym floor and just like yeah. talking nice. yeah 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 it was great it was fun yeah it's, 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 it's also needed. like you have to create that no judgment zone where like I know whatever I say however yeah. shitty it makes me look yeah, yeah he yeah. won't judge me for yeah. it I do that same way like sometimes you'll have like such a bad thought you need someone to filter that shit through you know yeah. Like maybe they'll agree with you, maybe they won't. Yeah. But it's always good to talk about it because, yeah, thoughts become actions. Okay, Rana, let's move on to the last question. Okay, great segue. Since you guys said the best things y'all did for each other, hmm. our last question was best and worst things people like friends have done to you. This hmm. is what people have sent in. Hmm. Number one, left me alone on my birthday to go meet a hinge boy, oh. which is terrible. Yeah. This is uh, kind of like my thing, though. No, when not I at all. When I met a hinge boy no, at a concert, no, not at all. Not at all. I don't think friend. so. It wasn't her birthday. It wasn't a concert moment. You can't compare a hinge date to yeah, a yeah. concert moment. I agree. What if, what if that hinge date ended up becoming her husband or whatever? Then it's like the best thing. Well, that's ever to done. be yeah. seen. That's TBD. 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 You know that's so you know. The but but the audacity to yeah yeah. yeah. That's crazy, yeah. Also, why could she? Point. Yeah. <laughs> why could she reschedule? Exactly. Yeah, it is weird. Insane. Okay. Eventually, this one is eventually agreed to make out with me. I don't know if it was the best thing or the worst thing. Same, same people. I, no, same dude. No, no. Eventually, eventually agreed. To make out she with eventually me. agreed to make out with me. I don't know if it was the best thing or the worst thing. So, how did the relationship go after? That is the question. Maybe it became like super awkward after, you know. Maybe. Yeah, or maybe they dated for a couple of years. She cheated. He's heartbroken. It is what it is, man. Could go anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We don't. That's know. the worst. I just think it's a. Desperate thing for you have you to have done. <laughs> yeah. She eventually decided. Come, come, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Get some self-respect, my man. Are you ready? Yeah, don't don't come be on, fucking bro. thirsty as hell out here begging people to make fucking make out with yeah. you, bro. Yeah, okay, fair. It's kind of weird, yeah. bro. Have some That's self, and bro. I feel like men need to have some self-worth. You know. I mean, everyone needs to have self-worth. No, I'm saying men in particular. Like, dude, you see, like under, like in a comment section. Some dudes are just commenting some wild shit. I'm like, bro, this is public. Like, yeah. we can see what you're commenting. <laughs> what are you doing? You know, like, bro? I feel like girls gas each other up a lot more. Yeah, the guys should do that to their other guys. Gas yeah, so that they don't have to fucking be weird to make out. Yeah. This. yeah, I agree. Okay. Oh, this one is an interesting one. Um, they've called me selfish when I was busy getting my shit together. Oh. Something Yo, okay, so yeah. life is wild, huh? <laughs> Go for so, it. All right, all right. Before the episode started, we were having a conversation about selfishness, from which me and Jay are on one side of the argument, and Ariana and Sid seem to be on the other. We believe that being selfish is a very important trait everyone must have, especially in this age of your life. Sure. Um. Sid, you want to explain what prompted it? Yeah. So the <clears throat> the thing was that during my training for the marathon, I've been skipping a lot of social plans and meeting friends because I have to sleep early and wake up early and all that. And I feel bad for doing that because I'm missing out on meeting a friend. Um, but Adi's point was, you must be selfish and you must prioritize everything and not meet people and don't feel bad about it. Which I agree, I shouldn't feel bad about it. But my thing was that I don't think that is selfish. It's selfish when you do it when when it is when you have some bad motives. Hmm. So, but my here, motive is good. Where, here's where I think I've I've f- I've figured out my thought, which is when you're selfish about things that you are super passionate about, you will eventually attract other people that do that same stuff. Your selfishness is probably the path that like your life wants to take you on, hmm. and to not cater to that, to be like, oh, I should. Hang out with my friends. I should do these things, which you don't really feel like doing. It it just deviates from the path that yeah, life for has sure. for you. I for sure. I will also add that in this specific situation where she's saying I'm trying to get my life together, or Sid is saying I want to run a marathon. I want to. So if if you're working towards a goal, if you're working towards some kind of achievement, and your friends aren't supporting you with that and guilt tripping you and being like, "Yo, this isn't cool. You're being selfish." Maybe they aren't the best friends yeah, for you because yeah. I, friend, I yeah. feel like I feel like if someone is clearly working towards a certain goal and maybe their life hasn't been going how it is and they're trying to get their shit together, they're trying to do well in school, work, whatever it is, 
uh, maybe don't hold them back, you know, because them fulfilling that goal or desire or whatever, it's going to make them even more of who they are. Yeah. You know, you're going to be so happy and so accomplished after you finish that marathon that you're going to be such a lighter person for having done it. You're going to be more mm. fun to be around because you've stuck to a plan and achieved it. Mm. This person, once they get their shit together, they're probably going to be a better friend to yeah. you and to everyone around and if, them. Right? If someone, if one of your old friends like looks at you and like, Oh, you've changed. Be like, yeah, I'm, like that's what you're supposed to do in life. Yeah. You know, you are still you're supposed to change. Ooh, and I, I yeah. feel like it's it's also good to have um, friends who maybe don't do the same stuff as you because you get a break from that once in a while as well. You get you you know you kind of have you kind of like sit back, laugh. You don't have to talk about work or whatever. It's important to have a balance there. I'm not saying be selfish 100 percent of the time, but everyone is doing their own thing. You know, so don't feel kind of guilty for prioritizing yourself because otherwise you're just going to be a people pleaser. Everyone's going to do what they have to do. Yeah, for sure. And you're just going to be sitting there 24-7 waiting for like yeah, it's a, a free it's plan a or slippery something. slope. It's man. a slippery slope. Mm. It is. I think Sometimes it's, being selfish is the most selfless thing you can do. Oh, oh. dropping on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight up, man. Well, That's what I said and you were like, what's going on? That's what he said in the car on the way I was like, bro, I've studied like these philosophy classes that talk about this and he was like, well, you fucking, you smoked a J once. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, sometimes that can, sometimes that can be the difference maker, man. If I feel like Aditya's being an asshole, I'll be like, yo dude, like, what are you doing? You never meet me, you never do anything. And he's like, dude, I'm at the studio, I'm working on some stuff, I'm working on the album, I'm working on this, this, that. I'll be like, damn, you sound super busy, good luck. I'm not gonna be like, you dickhead, come have dinner with me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> yeah. not what a good friend would do. And sometimes a friend has security in the fact that no matter mm. what you do, you, you're we're gonna still, come back. Yeah, we're yeah. still boys. Yeah. I just think there's a difference between being selfish and prioritizing your life. You got to be selfish while prioritizing your own life. Prioritization means that you are giving more attention to yourself than other things. Yeah, if you are prioritizing. If you yourself. are prioritizing. If you are prioritizing. Yeah. I wouldn't say that Sid working on the marathon and like training for that is selfish. What do you consider? But it's because, not about how Sid feels, right? Because it's about how the other people feel. Right. They that feel they like he's think being that selfish. He's being selfish. Yeah. Right. So like this person, if they're trying to if you're trying to get your shit together, first of all, good job. Good for you. Yeah. He's his thing is that his friends think he's being selfish. Yeah. Maybe communicate exactly what you are doing to the for them and they'll give you an easier time for it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't fuck around. Yeah. yeah. My thing is that yeah, that the bad thing that the friends are doing for this person is that they're saying that you're selfish for getting your shit together. it happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. It happens all the time with a lot of people. I'm sure everyone watching this at some point or the other has to kind of, has had to hole up and prioritize themselves for three to six months at a time. That's when you get a lot of thinking done. So you get a lot of work done. Yeah. And then you emerge like you're like a new person and you, you have that. And if those ability. people continue to have that rhetoric, then you sort of distance yourself from them. I agree. You know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Um, this person's friend has gone for every guy that they've told them that they found attractive. Oh, that... Wait, she's, she's snitching on someone? No, no. No, no, no. It's oh, like, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Gone got it, for got it. every guy I've told... Sorry. Gone for every guy I've told her I find attractive. Maybe she thinks like she's pointing it out like, oh, this guy's attractive. You should maybe, you know. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You thought this person that he's like. This person no, just... wants to fuck your life up, bro. Like stay Get as away. far away from these kind of people as physically possible. It's going to be the best thing for you, dude. I, I, I it is what it is. You'll make new friends, hopefully better ones. Yeah. Next one. This is kind of horrible. Mocked my intimacy with my then partner. Mocked the intimacy? Yeah. So you, I didn't, I didn't get it. Like Maybe she, like... She told her friend about intimate details of her relationship with her partner. And the friend mocked those details. Yeah. Mm. What? Maybe it's just like making fun of like... Oh, yeah. you called her honey sweetie bear or something like that. I, mean, I think like that's a, a little... Like the guy version of locker room talk, right? Like it's just... Uh, whatever. I think it's a little rude. What, you, what has like been said, said, Ariana? What, what do you get? I don't know. I'm about thinking. Days, you know? I'm thinking. She said something like, oh, my boyfriend is like, I don't know. What is a nice thing to say? My boyfriend is a really bad kisser. Mm. Is what I've told my friend. Okay. And then she's told me, oh my God, but your boyfriend can't even kiss. Ha ha ha. Oh. Like that. This what? is so I'm thinking. Hey, what? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, what the fuck? Like I'm sure it's like a more like intense version. Maybe you're just of this. teasing each other, and that's fine. 
basically my thing is that mocking a relationship that you don't know everything about and have just heard like tidbits from is like it's not your place to do it no matter how close you are to me so the word mocking is weird because boys would tease yeah, their boys yeah 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 which is like fun it's like in jest girls have like i don't know there's like this bitchy energy that comes no, with mocking no it's not bitchy at all yeah no it's like it's it's I almost like a subliminal like yeah well he's fucking worthless yeah you know, i don't know i don't know like you guys have a different energy that's no. true when it comes to i feel like you don't like seeing each other happy no. i'm not saying you do <laughs> i don't think that's at all what it is with girls and women i think maybe it's like i'm telling you something in confidence about my boyfriend and then you're bring like you're putting my boyfriend down in a separate conversation and using that thing that but i told you she didn't say in a separate so maybe, conversation so maybe okay, don't tell mocked. your friend maybe don't give your friend the ammunition to do that if you don't like it yeah yeah okay moving forward i won't <laughs> I'm, I'm, i'm not saying for you specifically i know i'm obviously <laughs> talking to i'm obviously talking about this person like, but like but i agree happens. that it's quite bad that this person did this oh okay well maybe get new friends if, maybe no, if you like, felt bad about it then tell her like yo i don't like it but yeah you'd be surprised as to how many of these problems yeah. or conversations can just be avoided by being like ridiculously honest with the person because it'll be awkward for like 3 minutes and then you're like okay nothing is left unsaid now maybe women aren't okay no, no, let's not say that no no, yeah. no i'm saying, I'm saying maybe these maybe these particular these, these two maybe these two yeah. particular women are not the best at doing that maybe they should no <laughs> but maybe they were con- uh, con- like maybe they were comfortable with being honest and saying like hey what you said really hurt me about the intimate details of my relationship ha huh. maybe i just think it's not a women thing or a like a men thing because i feel like the whole point is not you're not mocking me mm. like if you're my friend and you're mocking me that's one thing and i can take like a fun tease but if you're saying something about this my partner that's a little like shady and so if really? guys if guys like if jhangir told you like oh i'm with this girl and she like can't like she doesn't know how to kiss mm. but i really like her So that's the thing, and then you say, "Oh, your girlfriend just doesn't know how to kiss." Then, I, like, I that's mean, yeah, something. Yeah, I told him that though. So yeah, no, but, but like, no, I get what like, she's he saying. He mocks that fact, he, like you know, something comes up and you make a joke about, "Oh, how your girlfriend doesn't even know how to kiss," you know? Like, yeah, that, that's like that's so weird. Why would I ever? Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Uh, she knows those words, but if, and, that yeah, context. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I get it. Like, I'm and just then it's like around. exactly like why would you ever say that? Mm. when you have told him in confidence and it's not about you he's your friend he's yeah. not this girl's friend um i get it um at the same time maybe she was just teasing you the, once again i'm talking to the person in the phone yeah, i think yeah. we can yeah. move on can, yeah. Yeah. yeah let's move on let's move on <laughs> okay this one's a very common one forgot about me when they got into a relationship oh those yeah. are like the mm. worst Yeah. kind of friends yeah there's like who i mean it, uh, no it's a good common <laughs> it happens it happens it happens it happens, it happens. It happens. i guess yeah. maybe if you're married and you have kids and you have different priorities that's fine but if it's like a serial pattern of you getting into relationships and not speaking to your friends for 6 months at a time then when you're out of that relationship you come back yeah. and you're all like hey this person did this to me they cheated on me or whatever then it's like you kind of have to be supportive and you you understand where they're coming from but it's just an annoying trait yeah. to have yeah i think it's very common a lot of people forget their friends when they get into a relationship yeah, yeah. i think maybe in the first month or so it's a little mm-hmm. understandable because you're trying to you know make yeah. this thing work but after that you know you got to reset i agree okay maybe that's true and your friends should give you space also like you're meeting someone yeah. new it's cool yeah Uh, the next one is this is really sad. So someone told this friend, uh, someone told them this. No one wants to be your friend. Oh, Jesus, that's what? not nice. Why would he do that? I know. That's not. That's that so is, sad. That is, yeah, that's kind of crazy. But was it in the? Were they? Were <laughs> they? Were they, were they kidding so around? Sad. Were they like, hey man, you suck. No one wants to be your friend. That's harsh. Oh, that's harsh. That's so harsh. Yeah. wait, the person who wrote this said someone told them yeah. this. Yeah, and they said. I still carry the weight of this with me. Shit. Hey, I whoever you are, buddy. we are your friends. Yeah, you yeah. you sound like a, a a chill dude or yeah. Go yeah, ahead. go ahead. Oh god, you sound really nice. Yeah. yeah. We 
are your friends well she's not said anything about herself except that someone told her that no one wants to be friends yeah based on that info <laughs> i don't know you know like maybe she's not the right <laughs> there are some more details about her i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> That's not true obviously. Guys, there's friends for everyone out there, man. I exactly. feel like whether you are like you just whether you're someone people. no one wants to be friends yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> other people out there who no one wants to be friends with either. <laughs> and you guys can find each other. And you know, if you have mutual interests, um, you know, sometimes it yeah. may be the case of maybe you need to develop a hobby. Maybe you maybe you do need yeah. to develop a hobby. and Legit. find some interests and better yourself maybe the friend is saying it out of like hey i'm rocking with you i love you but you kind of suck as a human being <laughs> I, I, I'm, i'm with you all the way but you need to start taking charge of your life and doing something um yeah if that isn't the case though that's kind of mean yeah, yeah 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 okay uh, you know what i mean yeah the wording could have been better yeah the wording could have definitely been better are yeah. <laughs> are <laughs> Imagine getting a text. No one wants to be your friend. You think that was a text or an in-person thing? I think in-person. in-person is ruthless. Yeah. No, a text is way more. Ruthless. Dude, they're not looking at your eyes and I'm like, yeah. no one wants to be your friend. Then I'll take it seriously. <laughs> like, why does nobody want to be my friend? What <laughs> What is it about me that makes me so inherently unfriendable? You know what I mean? Oof. Sure. Next okay, one. come. There's lots more guys, and they're all good. So we'll speed through these. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Keep it. Um, nice This is at 3 a.m. I was actively trying to avoid a guy that kept forcing me to leave with him, and my friend left me alone at the club and dipped even when she knew I didn't want anyone else. I didn't want to go with him. Damn, that's that's fucked up. Get new friends. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you defending now. this? No, no, no. I'm saying it's 3 a.m. Yeah. If she wants, if the friend wants to leave and she's not leaving with her, what can the friend do? I think the friend just left her. Oh, without yeah. saying yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. I thought she wanted to leave, and this friend's like, "I'm kind of vibing." Wait, but why is she staying then? If she doesn't want to, she still wants a party. She just so the thing is, left me alone at a club and dipped. Damn, maybe okay, dipped yeah. implies dipped, she didn't yeah. say it. Irish goodbye. Yeah. Okay, next one. She hid the fact that my ex cheated on me. Oh, what the fuck? Get new friends. Yeah, you guys need to get new friends, man. Is there like some test that you can? I'm sure these aren't they aren't friends that yeah. they still have, bro. I hope not. Okay, this is a good one. My friend gave me a few thousand rupees so that I can buy gear, and I made a lot of money off that gear. Oh, nice. yeah, like, dope. Yeah, that's, like essentially that's like cool. encouraging a person to start something. That's yeah. cool. That's, that's cool. Good. That's, that's really friends, lovely. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Keep your friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's what friends are for. Good job. Have you ever uh, bought your friends anything that you think would have helped their career or something? No, I don't think I have. That do you want me to get you something like a mic? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Again, I don't want to say this without sound. I don't want to sound like a like I'm like I did a big thing. But uh, this friend of mine, incidentally, the same friend with whom that whole incident happened with the pew, pool cue, okay, um, okay. pool table, this snooker thing. So he actually wanted to start his own like a side hustle, and he wanted he's big into pottery, like pottery, like he carves out of clay, and he does it really well. So he wanted to start that, but he was not finding time or whatever. So all I did was I just took the name that he wanted and bought him a domain name, and like gave him that so like he was officially he had a website. Now cool. he didn't he didn't end up using it is a different thing. But it was a way for me to encourage him to encourage. Yeah, that, yeah. Mm. that's nice. That's cool. Sweet. That's not, that is nice. Yeah, very sweet. Um, the next one is <laughs> the same. Fr- the same friend who I gifted flight tickets for his birthday decided to give me deodorant on my birthday. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Now you now you're getting into like the now you're getting into like the doing nice things and expecting nice things territory. Uh, like you expect it yeah. but you don't do them because you expect. Yeah. You expect it. You you expect it but you know what I'm saying? You don't hold it against them in the end. If you're one of those people maybe stop doing nice things for people if they The deodorant is laughable though, you know like <laughs> well, maybe it was a I would rather you don't like it was a, it was a gag joke, a gag gift. Like, Yo, you smell bad. Just maybe cover yeah. up, you know. I like how we all take the side of the guy who gifted the goods. No, I'm just, not no, no, we're not, we're not, we're not. It's like you know, so many people say like, "Oh, I'm such a good person. Why do like bad things keep mm-hmm. happening to me or whatever?" It's like bad things don't care about how good your intentions are. You know what I mean? It happens to everyone. 
Just what, because you, why, why, like just just because yeah, you're okay, a good person, you like nothing to do with the. <laughs> no, no, it's like it's like don't don't be nice only because uh, you're expecting something nice in return. Sure. Just be nice because you in are general. nice and shut the fuck up about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think it's a bit rude, and I think if your friend is giving you flight tickets to somewhere for your birthday. Dude, in, in, no, 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 I agree with you. It's unconditional. It's it's on it's, if, if you're no, nice because a lot of people love doing the gift giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sometimes I get a gift and I'm like, I, yo, I don't want to give you something. This yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. And it's I a agree. it's a different love language. Like love like gift giving is a love language. Maybe someone else's quality time. Maybe someone else's you know some some different kind of shit. Yeah. If it's your love language, cool. But putting that on someone else is is a recipe for disaster. I'm saying don't. Don't hmm. expect too much. You're making someone feel obliged. Yeah, which is not good. What yeah. do you want to get? You a plane instead? It, no. Like, do you but then don't get them. Again? Don't get them yeah, deodorant. The deodorant is the is the bottom sure. rung yeah. of everything. Yeah, sure. Write but them a sweet card. I, I, it's yeah. a, it's a, like I said, it's a gag gift, dude. It's okay. It's fun. It's funny. No, no, it's not. <laughs> was it a gag gift? Was it actually? Something I don't know, else? but I hope it was. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's do a couple more, and then we'll call it. <laughs> Been there twelve for her last five birthdays. And she didn't even wish me on mine this year. You want to get in? You want to get into this? The twelve a.m. You want to get into this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think you reach an age in life, guys, where the twelve a.m. birthdays should not be expected. Yeah, you, you guys, sure. okay. you guys, gotta chill the fuck out with this yeah. one. Yeah, you guys. I mean, you will realize it's eventually. the same people who care about twelve a.m. birthdays that make it a birthday week or month. Sometimes <laughs> birthday month is ridiculous. Re- Donkeyless. Who will girl, expect these they, uh, ridiculous fucking gifts? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yo, chill, man. You're, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Yeah. And like I said, if your friends are really your friends, they'll come through in the way that they come through. And if they don't come through consistently, and you make it a point to kind of emphasize this, then maybe they are not the friends for you. And especially mm. if they know, if you're a friend of theirs, and they know that hey, your birthday is really special to you. Yeah. A lot of people don't find their birthday special, yeah. but if they know your birthday is really special to you, yeah. they will do it. Yeah. They will do whatever they can to make sure that that that, that you feel that way. Yeah. But, but to show up at twelve a.m. like no, uh, yeah, it's it's just not a scene I, anymore. I feel. Yeah, but I think the problem is that this person. Okay, you wish your friend every year for their birthday, and then one year they just forget it's your birthday. No, they didn't forget. Did they they just didn't yeah, wish they, at, they, they just showed didn't wish up for, at twelve. No, no, they showed up every day, huh. every year for okay. five years, and then their friend just didn't wish them at, oh, at all. all. At all, but once, right? Tika, I mean, sometimes you forget. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. that. Sorry. At all, so, like, wish, didn't wish them at all. At all. Did so the know? implication is, you're my close friend because you're only doing this twelve a.m. thing for f- close friends, and then you're showing up every year. And But they don't remember. It's a bit of like, hey, I care about birthdays, so I'm showing up for yours. And the other person is like, I don't care about birthdays, so I might have forgotten yours. No. Yeah, this yeah, is what Jangir. No, this is what Jangir always says that your birthday is not about you. Mm. It's about your people around you. Mm. So exactly, no. But so, that, but that is what my. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So it's about the people around you. So now, if I don't care about my birthday and you're showing up for me, that's cool, and I'm so grateful. But you care about your birthday, obviously. So, and I'm not wishing uh, you. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. I didn't wish him at all. Wishing, yeah, that sucks. That's yeah. rough. Like a text, a That's WhatsApp, uh, an Insta reply to a story. Certain, there's certain people who really, really care. Miss you, Aman. Uh, there's certain people who <laughs> really <not> care <laughs> about their birthdays, <laughs> and you should take that into consideration. Wish them on time. Blah blah blah. But for all you guys who give so much of a shit about your birthdays. I'm sure you're a very special person. Otherwise, as well, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that it's not only on your birthday that you feel special. Hmm. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. Get friends that make you feel special every every every, every day, day, man. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's that's the life. Last one. Oh, last one. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have two. I have a good one and a bad one to end it. Okay. Okay. Let's end it with let's do sure, the bad sure, one sure. first. Let's go. This person became friends with the person I hate. Oh, that you know how I feel about that. How do you feel about that? I I'm I'm usually uh, like I think in my like mentally I'm still like thirteen in that aspect. Okay. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't fuck with someone who you didn't. Yeah, you would. No. <gasps> yeah. Unless you it do. was unless it was a, a <laughs> unless it was a previous fucked with I wouldn't. Ah, okay, that way. It's way. nothing new. Like uh-huh. I like if someone fucked with you now, 
I wouldn't go out of my way to become fucking pals with this dude. Yeah. Because he's on the, you know, he's, uh, hmm. he's not cool. Hmm. What if it's a new person we both met and I have had a different experience with them than you have over the next few months or whatever. You kind of hate them. What is the question you said? With a person I hate. Yeah. And, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a different situation. I feel like this is a different situation. No, but he's giving you a situation now. Yeah, your hypothetical that. is a little more reasonable. Yeah. I wouldn't hold it against you. But at the same time, if I actively hated a person and someone went out of the way out of their way to be like what's up buddy yeah I, I think I would I would give a lot of uh, You'd question credit it. be to like you why? Yeah, of like yeah, yeah. why do you hate yeah, him yeah, and if yeah. it's like significant enough yeah. then mm-hmm. of course yeah. no I have a follow up question quickly if you're a threesome a group of Ooh. three friends uh. and the third friend has wronged you yeah. but is like fine with you yeah what is depends what's on the, the degree of the wronging you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, if he fucked him over, first of all, he's my friend and you fucked him over. No, what's, he's... what's to stop you from doing that to me in the future? Yeah. If the situation, like, like, oh, it was just the situation I had to. What's stopping them from fucking me over if the situation dictates that they have to? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. That's what I would say to that. In a trio of friends, don't you always feel like you're like closer? tight with one, yeah. you know? You're not really yeah. that tight with the third. And I think it depends on who you're tight with. It depends, yeah, it depends, yeah, yeah. it depends. I agree, fully agree. And imagine feeling that way with someone and then they feel the same way but with the other guy. And then the other guy feels the same way with you. That's why you're a trio. <laughs> That's giving me a headache, this phenomenon. There's, there's also always one person in the trio who's the most liked. Who's the connector of the two friends. There's a nucleus in every group. Yeah, yeah. so true. Okay. And the last one, let's end it with the best friend ever. My best friend booked out an entire art gallery for my birthday and kept a lovely dinner. Wow. Stunning. Nice. Sweet. Wow. Sweet. Very that's, sweet. That's super nice. Yeah. Oh. Well, Sid, what was your... Episode. Now, wait, we should really connect um, these two people. <laughs> we should connect Which? the airplane ticket buyer <laughs> and the, art, the artist as well. Uh, and we should connect the deodorant buyer with like the fucking... Talking shit about your friends and stuff. <laughs> no, no, wishing you on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we must. We would actually get along. We should. We should do that. <laughs> okay. Said, what's the question? Yeah. What I wanted to ask was, on our way here to the studio, Adi mentioned some story that some friend of his told him in the car, and he started off saying that there's this girl who I just recently became friends with who told me X Y Z whatever. My question is that you are still making new friends even right now, at whatever 25, 26. I don't remember the last time I made a new friend. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, like just like is that a result of your the the field you're in, hmm. or I don't know, are you guys actually making new friends? You have the bandwidth to make new friends. Uh, I think it's a it's a personality type. Like I love meeting new interesting people that I feel like I can learn a lot from, hmm. and usually. It's very like, um, it feels very serendipitous that I met this person at this time. Hmm. Um, what? Levity, serendipitous. <laughs> no one's pointed yeah. out the thing. <laughs> <laughs> <Pointed laughs> the <laughs> the sorest, man. Yeah, you guys are Googling the word <laughs> on the next tab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I just, I like, uh, I like seizing the moment, you know, like when I feel like someone's very cool. I will not be shy to approach them and be like, hey, I think you're dope. Let's hang out. Hmm. Yeah. I'm very like, I don't want to miss out on someone cool in my life. Yeah. No. I think, well, Sid, you've made new friends in the past few years as yeah. well. Right? Last year? I mean, of course, yeah. But, there we go. There's, there's some no, new friends but, but let's be I honest. Agree. I mean, this friendship also is a result of because we're working together. Right? You're right. You're right. It's not like I'm going out of my way and like meeting people and hey, like, okay. But however it happens, right? But when, it doesn't need to be a certain situation. Yeah. It, it, also, sometimes. when we started, I would, I would not have thought that you and Jay would have gone along as well as y'all did. Mm-hmm. You know? That's mm-hmm. something that you take up on your yeah, own. Yeah, it could have been like, a very formal work thing yeah, also. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, who the fuck is this yeah. rando dude on yeah. my show and all? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> who knows, right? I think um, he makes people with people, makes friends with people he finds interesting. I think my style is I enjoy people. I have enough interesting friends. I think when I find someone who's very similar to me, I want to be their friend. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's my my take on it. I have a lot of new friends who are super new that are interested in the same stuff. And that's mm-hmm. when I'm like, okay, what up? We're homies now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess that's, that's cool. a big difference between yeah. how we approach yeah. friends, yeah. new friends. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it, same result. You mm. get new friends, just yeah. different ways of finding them. I think Ariana's also a very friendly person as well, so I don't think she discriminates. Awesome, I think that's the best place to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, sorry, sorry I just like blank for a second. I was gonna like try and do like a click here to watch more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, you guys know what to do. Well, I mean, you know, it's okay. Uh, like, uh, be a friend to your friends, and yeah. yeah. Maybe tell them something nice today. It could change their day. Yeah, just as well. I wore this for the friend episode because ah. one of you guys gave this to uh, gave this to me as because you thought we were friends. Didn't they give it to Ariana? No, no. Oh, this is someone, different. Someone else gave me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay. be nice to your friend, guys. We'll see you on the next one. She put by the dozen. Hate them on you, love them. Make me feel away, then I might switch up for your cousin. Keep one in the dark, and I'll keep ten more in the oven. If you wanna stop, we can try, it's cheaper by the, cheaper by the dozen. Hate them more, you love them. If you make me feel away, then I might switch up, switch up. Keep you in the dark, and I'll just keep on second guessing. If you wanna stop, we can try, it's cheaper by the,